Here's what we were after, which is a match photograph. And I have made films uh, in, in the region, and I'm quite familiar with the history of the British on Everest. And what, the goal of this project was comparative photography to show how much the glaciers had melted over a, a clearly defined period of time. So we sought out the first photos ever taken of the mountains. The first up-close photos taken of Everest were by the 1921 British Mount uh, Everest Reconnaissance Expedition. Mallory was there as a climber to find a route up the mountain. He took this picture, and after a considerable amount of work and effort, we found the exact spot he stood in, and here's what you end up with. You end up with a picture on the left that was taken in 1921, and a picture on the right that was taken uh, in 2007 in October. But that really doesn't show you uh, the picture like the night does show you the picture. So here we'll move on to this shot here that's going to show you a dissolve and give you some idea of how much uh, ice has been lost vertically, vertical ab ablation in this region. Um, just watch this um, dissolve here, and we'll just watch it once more. Because I want to point out, as we see uh, many of the images of these glaciers, you're going to see what doesn't appear to be a glacier at all. And it's right in here. Um, sorry, the laser pointer is not there. It's uh, got more energy now. Th there's ice under this. Uh, glaciers are giant conveyor belts moving downhill, pulling debris with them. And if you were walking on this glacier and kicked at that rubble, you would find ice underneath. So when you watch this picture again, um, this dissolve, you'll see what's happening. And that's 350 uh, vertical feet in loss of mass, which is a 35 to 40 foot story building. We can go in closer to show